Today we're going to explore simple syllogistic arguments and logical fallacies. If you are familiar with algebra or logic, you probably recognize these figures as an example of the transitive property. We can apply that same concept to written arguments. For example, here's this guy. We can all probably agree that in addition to being a superhero, Iron Man is also a human being. We can also agree that all human beings eventually die. Therefore, as he is a human being, Iron Man is going to eventually die. Sorry, kids. But we need to be careful of making logical fallacies by drawing incorrect inferences. Let's look at an example. Iron Man wears metallic armor. If Iron Man is human and Iron Man wears armor, do all humans wear armor? If you aren't sure why this argument isn't valid, you may need to go outside more often. Here's another example. In the movies, Iron Man is played by this guy, who also happens to play Sherlock Holmes. If Iron Man is played by the same actor as Holmes, by the transitive property we could argue that Iron Man is Holmes, but that can't be right. Remember, when making a syllogistic argument, each part of the argument should make logical sense. It's an incorrect inference that because a single actor plays two different fictional characters, those characters are the same person. And there you have it, some easy tips to making a simple syllogistic argument. 